Hey folks, how we doing? Uh, welcome to the new video. Today we're going to take a look at Drumminator from Audio Assault. The Drumminator is a really easy plug-in to use. Uh, it comprises of two kits. Um, it's got several presets. The kits are unprocessed and it features a couple of different uh, snares, a couple of different uh, kick drums but right off inside the box you can really shape the kit to how you want it to sound <coughs> you level, you look different levels of compression, EQ, reverb, sustain and uh, yeah it's a really good piece of, uh, piece of software so before we get into that Please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I have new videos coming out all the time. Right, folks, um, Drumminator. Um, it's a trigger program rather than one that's got grooves in it like uh, like other drum programs. Um, so you can either use drum pads or electric drum kits with this, or it uses MIDI information from drum programs like Easy Drummer, like we've got on on here or NT drums, perfect drummer, etc etc. So <clears throat> all we do is we lay that over the top of the drum track and we're gonna replace it this time. Just shut that down. Audition all of these snares, toms, kick Symbols and you've got a couple of different uh, kitsch port pie one, which is this one, and then and then the black beauty, and the two different kicks kick one and kick two. My prefer, I don't actually like I kick one on the default, and then you've got several different preset kits as well uh, dry metal core, heavy levy metal core kit I find these top, top three very heavily compressed you can alter that in with the uh, the EQs and take some of that compression out in the effects two natural kits uh, a rock kit and a thrash kit uh, then you have your, your master console here and for the, uh, the effect the EQ the effects and the reverb you've got to have these clicked you have know, to have these lit up for, for whatever you change you need to have to affect the overall sound otherwise any changes that you, you that you make won't affect anything uh, there's your EQ board so you've got uh, high and a low cut these are your gains for your high and low free for your low frequencies uh, low mids high mids and then your high frequencies and you've got different effects in there so you've got uh, transients transient shapers uh, sustains different levels of compression and also on each uh, mank they do include um, their punch plugin which is quite good I don't I don't like the punch one especially on uh, snares and kicks it really does uh, really does em em emphasize that uh, and then same again on reverb <coughs> what I will say on all of these you've got to move it a very very little amount at a time just to hit that sweet spot because it, it does really uh, really affect the uh, any the sound any effects that you put on any knobs that you twist um, it really does affect anything and then also you've got mini mapping uh, defaults to general MIDI uh, but also it, uh, got all your popular programs on there uh, since we're using Easy Drummer on this one we'll, uh, we'll click on that one and here's what it sounds like in a few different mixers
well there you have it guys that's the Drumminator from Audio Assault um, do I like it? yeah it's, I think it's really powerful the the effects and the uh, the EQs uh, and the reverb you only really need to slightly tweak them really does affect, affect the sounds uh, but you can really t tweak it and cater it to uh, how you want it whether you just use the default kit or whether you use any of the presets they're all in there but uh, anyway thanks for watching guys I do appreciate it and uh, if you like it give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and please click up here for more videos that you may not have seen and uh, please click the button down here to subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos and I'll catch you later. Keep on rocking.